Beating rocks, beating rocks. Do 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 do. Beating rocks. Hi guys, it's Rebecca from the Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center. If you've been lucky enough to come see us at our park, you know that we are famous for our rocks, our rock features, and some of the beautiful stones you see all throughout the park. Well, today we're gonna read a book called A Rock is Lively. A Rock is Lively. Bubbling like a pot of soup deep beneath the earth's crust, liquid, molten, boiling. Depending on what type of rock it is, a rock melts at temperatures between 1300 and 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa. A rock is mixed up. All rocks are made of a mix of ingredients called minerals. Just as a batter of flour, butter, and sugar makes a cookie, a batter of minerals makes a rock. The recipe for a rock might include minerals like aluminum, copper, diamond, fluorite, gold, gypsum, lead, nickel, platinum, quartz, silver, sulfur, tin, topaz, and turquoise. A rock is galactic. Outer space is a shower of rocky fireworks. Meteoroids are rocks that range in size from a grain of sand to a basketball. They become meteors or shooting stars when they streak through Earth's atmosphere and vaporize. Sometimes pieces of meteor aren't vaporized and land on Earth's surface. They are called meteorites. Comets are balls of rock and ice, sometimes called dirty snowballs, that are heated by the sun and soar through space, leaving glowing ribbons of dust behind them. Asteroids are gigantic chunks of rock and metal. They can weigh millions of tons. The largest known asteroid is 650 miles in diameter. It would take a person 352 hours or nearly 15 days to walk around it. A rock is old. The oldest known rocks on earth were formed billions of years before the sky turned from green to blue, before dinosaurs thundered across the earth, before humans learned how to make fire. The oldest rocks ever found are nearly 4.5 billion years old. A rock is huge. Considered by many to be the world's largest rock, Australia's Mount Augustus is a sandstone rock with an elevation or height of 3,628 feet above sea level, about 1,000 feet higher than the world's tallest skyscraper. A rock is also tiny. The carpets of sand on the floor and the shores of the oceans, lakes, and rivers come from larger rocks that have been ground through weathering into tiny, tiny grains. A rock is helpful. Some birds swallow stones to help them digest food. As the muscles in the gizzards of their stomach move, food is chewed or crushed by rocks in, some, in the same way humans use teeth to break down food. Crocodiles, seals, and sea lions also ingest rocks. The extra weight, or ballast, helps them dive deeper and stay steady in the water. Sea otters will lie on their backs and use rocks to crack open shells on their stomachs. Seagulls will drop mollusks onto rocks to break apart their shells. Chimpanzees and crows crack the hard shells and nuts on rocks. A rock is surprising. Some rocks need to be broken open to reveal their beauty. Geodes, or round, hollow rocks found mostly in deserts or in bed of volcanic ash, hide sparkly crystals. The crystals were once liquid, but trapped inside the rock for thousands of years, they changed into jewels of many colors. Agates, too, with their colorful layers created by liquid deposits, are often found in volcanic rock. A rock is inventive. Long ago, humans chiseled rocks into sharp-edged weapons and tools. Flaky flint and obsidian rocks were chipped into arrowheads, spear points, axes, and hammers. Rough granite, sandstone, and lava rocks were shaped into mortars and pestles used for grinding seeds, rice, nuts, chilies, and garlic into food. 
Today, humans use rocks to make cement, bricks, paper, and pencils, and glass, and toothpaste. Hmm. A rock is creative. Tens of thousands of years ago, before there was writing, ancient people told stories through symbols. With colors made from minerals, they painted pictographs on cave walls, rock shelters, and ledges. They chipped and pecked the surface of stones to make petroglyphs. In more recent history, artists and builders have chiseled great sculptures and monuments from all kinds of rocks, like Mount Rushmore, uh, David by Michelangelo, Stonehenge, the Eastern Island statues, and even the Great Pyramids. A rock is recycled. Sedimentary rocks, like coal and limestone, have eroded over time into smaller and smaller pieces of sand, pebbles, and gravel. They were pressed together like a layer cake with fossils, seashells, and decayed plants. Metamorphic rock began as sedimentary or igneous, but were baked and squeezed so hard by heat and pressure, they became metamorphic rocks like slate and marble. Igneous rocks are formed by magma. When magma erupts through volcanoes, it cools and hardens into rocks like granite and pumice. Pumice is a lightweight stone and it floats. Hmm. A rock doesn't hurry. Over thousands of millions of years, it changes from one form to another. This is called the rock cycle. In a process called erosion, a rock is squashed and scraped by glaciers, whirled by waves and wind, and pushed deep into the earth until it turns into magma. Then a rock is once again. Lively. Man, could you imagine the journey a rock goes through? I love this book and I hope you guys liked it too. I'll see you again later for Reading Rocks and don't forget to check out this week's activity. Bye.